I kind of forgot how much fun it is to make videos. Alright, let's add something to these uh, simple phrases we were working on. We were doing stuff like... Uh, oh, I added a note there, didn't I? I added the C. C is on a skinny string 8th fret, which works perfectly. Playing a Mustang here. Wow, that's a good pattern. So, like, we want to get the right hand doing down ups. And I lay the hand on the bridge here. Resting this part of the palm on the bridge, on this corner. Just let it sit there. It kind of takes the weight off of your arm. So you're not having to hang, you know, use your shoulder to hold your hand in place. You get to just let, let your weight sit on that bridge. And it helps you relax so you can play longer and faster. So, let's add some rhythm to these uh, licks that sound like this. How about this? Okay, I gotta tell you a story. I was taking guitar lessons about 1975, and my guitar teacher, Marge, said, all right, Brooke, put your index finger right here. I was like, ouch. But I didn't want to complain. Then she goes, all right, put your ring finger here. I was like, ouch! But I didn't want to complain. I thought, this is ridiculous. But I didn't say a word. And she said, hit those strings. I'm like, why? I'm thinking why. But I did not complain. I did not sass back. I said, yes, ma'am. What's that? I don't know. I have no idea. Then she said, on, on the beat, on the one and two and three and the four. On the two and the four, your pinky is going to go right here on the ninth fret. I have no idea what this lady's talking about. So she wanted me to go. And I was like, you are crazy. But I didn't say a word. I was thinking that. All right, so I went home. Well, my mom picked me up in the Volkswagen. She said, how was your guitar lesson? I said, fine. I went home, went to my room, closed the door, and went. Ouch. I just kept doing it. Sometimes I miss and hit this one instead. Now I knew that sounded pretty weird, so I, I, I just assumed this is going to work. About the same time I was getting into the Beatles and I heard some of their songs like uh, Thank You Girl, like a... Like that, I'm like, wow, I started to kind of recognize that sound in, in records. I had uh, this one that went. So I started hearing that in songs. can move it. So, thank you Marge for teaching me that because pretty soon I felt like I'd, I could play any song I really wanted or any song I heard that I could, at least I had an idea, and from then on I could teach myself. So what we're doing is index here, 5th fret, that's an A, which is going to be the root note of our chord that identifies what chord we're hitting. So find an A note, where we're going to build an A chord. Then add the ring finger, that's called our 5th. So a chord is made of a root, 3rd, and a 5th, 
we're just going to do the root and the fifth. And it gives us a power chord. We've heard that before, right? We know that power chord sound. All right, now we're just going to add, that's when the snare hits, is when the pinky goes up here. So we're counting one and two and three and four. So on the two and the four is when the pinky has to hit there. And uh, just give yourself time. It doesn't feel great, but just keep going. Get that pinky stretched out. It might take you a week, might take you two weeks, might take you two months, might take you six months. I don't know. I just don't know. Everybody's different. But if you hit it every day, you'll be going. So the, the pinky can stretch more and more. Watch this. Not only can I hit the ninth fret, I can hit the tenth fret. I can hit the eleventh fret, which I don't know if that will sound that good. suppose you can make a song out of that. I wonder if I can hit 12. Kind of, but I have to pick up the, the ring finger. But my point is the left hand can stretch. Now, I'm no Donald Trump with giant hands or anything, but, uh, you know, I've seen little chubby little kids with chubby little short, pudgy, cute little fingers stained with uh, candy. I've seen their grubby little fingers stretch about this far. So, you can, you know, it might be just that your hands are used to doing that. Or maybe you're a little older and your, your joints are stiff. If that's the case, try drinking a whole bunch more water. And just, let's loosen up, let's take care of our bodies, and let's start stretching a little farther. At least get this far. There you go. Those are power chords, and we're, I'm calling that rock and roll rhythm. So if somebody's playing that, the other guy could go. it together yourself like a lot of times I'm the only guitar player in the band so I have to go sort of mix in the lead guitar with the rhythm. I was just sort of stumbling around there a little bit, keeping it loose. Okay, friends, I'm going to cut it short, but uh, thank you for watching. And uh, like I always say, have fun, do your own thing, just keep playing. Thank you.